Whether it's good or bad, or they're just joking, they all love to talk about us all the time. Like Miss Can't Be Wrong and Jesse Roth. Am I attacking Jesse Roth or Miss Can Ms. I Camp say <coughs> something, please? Jesse Roth, first of all, I didn't see you in my chat the other night, and if I did, I would have put you up on the screen because you're 100% right. Um, I agree with you. So does Ange. We all agree Why with you. Why don't you go to hell, Jesse? <laughs> Jesse the Sloth, TBD. Oh, um, this can't be wrong. Yeah, I thought they both you guys are Jesse. You guys are great. What? Well, uh, you're the best. Badasses. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're nobody to fuck with. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Right, exactly. That's right. Girl, uh, Jesse Roth. These are all my standards. On the internet. He's smarter than everybody. To all your simps out there. Jesse Roth, Miss Can't Be Wrong, all you people that follow this. Miss Can't Be Wrong saying hi to Jesse Roth. Hi, hi, Jesse Roth, Jesse Roth. Hi, Miss Can't Be Wrong. Hi, this one and that one and this. Hello, Jason B. It looks like just you and me for now, um, which is fine. I came on here again. Hi, Michael Mormile. How are you tonight? Um, I came on here again today because I, I'm not worried, you know, I'm not one of these people, um, you know, I'm, I, I'm not like I need a hundred people in my chat room or whatever views. I get quite a bit of, um, replay views, which I'm happy with, but I do did come on here cause I want to talk about something. Um, for those of you that did hear everything that went on today, um, whether it was my show, Muscle Show, FBS's show, whatever. Um, for those of you that know what's going on, did for Pete? No, FBS didn't get struck that I know of. Hey, Michael Hensley, how are you, sweetheart? No, FBS will be on later tonight. I think he he said he'll probably pop on around ten o'clock. Um, he'll be back on. Hello, Ryan. Most of the shows seems like they're taken down. Well, there's something I want to address here. Um, <clears throat> I guess Maureen put up a post with a screenshot of my chat room from earlier today, which is fine. I don't care. I even went on to thank her for promoting my show. Um, and she responds back with, oh, oh, <clears throat> no problem. But then she edits it out to this big, long thing that my anger towards her is misguided. I should be mad at Shug. Um, I'll recap again what happened. Um, y'all know about that dumb petition that's been floating around about me for years. Well, up until that point, Maureen and I, I thought we're fine. We joke in chat rooms. I didn't have a problem with her. Um, she comes across this, um, you know, we have a bunch of mutual friends, whatever. Um, she comes across this petition and proceeds to send it to Shug, of all people, who doesn't even know me, to find out if it's true or not. Um, why am I mad at her and not Shug? Of course Shug's going to mention it. Shug's all about the numbers and views, and anything that's inflammatory, he'll bring up. We all know this. Maureen does, too, which is why she chose to send it to Shug. Um, personally, if Maureen had a question about something about me, she should have brought it to me. We weren't enemies. We weren't fighting. Um, bring it to me and ask me about it. Or, for that matter, take it to one of our mutual friends that has known me longer than Shug knows me. You know, she didn't know that I laugh at that petition. I mean, that thing's old. I've talked about it. I've joked about it. Everybody on MobTube has seen it. And if they haven't, go take a look. I don't care. It's bogus. It's slander. It was deemed slander years ago. Um... And the appropriate people that needed to get taken care of because of it were taken care of. Um, but when 
something gets passed to you that's inflammatory about somebody, you go to them with it. You don't take it to somebody that doesn't know that person. I mean, come on. If somebody sent me something inflammatory about Maureen, who would I go to? I would either ask Maureen or one of our mutual friends that's known her longer than Shug has. I mean, for Maureen to take something like that to Shug would be like if I got something like that about her and went to FBS about it. That makes no sense. Other than the fact that Maureen sent it to him knowing it would be brought up. And then she was like, oh, no, no, no. You weren't supposed to say my name. That's not embarrassment. Of course it's embarrassment. Listen, if I send something to somebody, I kind of expect it to get talked about. I mean, that's just the way you have to look at YouTube. Everybody on here is going to say something about it. Um, which is why in that situation, you should go to the person it's about, not some third party. All right. And I would think... <laughs> You know, and I said to Maureen today, I said, you know, I said, you know, you're not, you're not stupid. You knew, you knew Shug would bring it up, but you didn't know he, and she wants me to feel bad for her that I, I shouldn't be mad at her because she had no clue that Shug was going to say she sent it to him. Um, yeah, you know, draw your tears. I, I don't, you know, I'm not crying for you. I don't care if you, you know, I, I don't care. I don't even care about the petition. It's about your behavior. It's about how you acted. To, I thought we were friendly. You know, if, again, like I said, if that came, if something like that came to me about you, I would take it to you. I wouldn't take it to FBS. I mean, that makes no sense whatsoever. Hello, butterfly kisses. Hello, Ryan. How are you? Um, so, yeah. And, and then she proceeds to, and I told her basically that that's why I'm mad at her. I'm mad at her behavior. And then she wants to go on about, you know, good God, like everything else under the sun. And speaking of sun, she brings up a link about SoFlo that we've all seen a year and a, a year, year and a half ago. And when I saw that link a year and a half ago, along with the link to the Sun newspaper out of Florida. Okay, first of all, the link she sent me is a is a blog. It was a sample article. And the article and I told her, I said, show me, you know, some legit media this pops up in. Um, well, and then she comes back with, well, it was in the Sun newspaper in Florida. Let me tell you something about those little newspapers. Um, Maureen, if you're listening or one of your friends are listening, they can go back and tell you. Um, I had a friend one time. And totally not in this community at all. So many years ago. Um, her sister had a vendetta against her. So she would go to the local little newspaper who she knew the editor of and would pay them to run stories about her sister. Or you can, I don't know about now because a lot of those smaller newspapers have been eaten up. Um, a lot of the bigger ones too, with, you know, the invention of internet news, um, things have changed quite differently, but Years ago, you could go to your local little paper and you could write an article and if you paid them 50 bucks, they would run it. That doesn't mean squat to me. Come back to me with something from the AP wire, Breitbart, um, hell, even TMZ at this point, I would take over a local blog and news local little newspaper all right it doesn't mean shit we've all seen it you're recycling old crap that's been spread around and when i proceeded to tell her that she basically told me i have blinders on and mind you this was about soflo's son um 
she proceeded to tell me I have blinders on. Well, Maureen, fine. If you want to think I have blinders on, I know what SoFlo did. Again, I've seen all of it. There's nothing you're pulling up that's new to anyone, not even his record. Okay, it's not new. Everybody's made their decisions about who they're friends with and who they're not friends with. All you're doing at this point is being an asshole. Um, I mean, hell, even Casparosa at least brought up something new with the whole restraining order thing. Now that, as much as I dislike Casparosa for lying to me it, and lying to everybody else and perpetuating crap, um, as much as I dislike him for that, at least he came up with something new that none of us had ever seen before. Go ahead. Shock me. Bring me something that shocks me about SoFlo or Muscle. All right. All this crap that you bring up is old news. Um. It's old news. Who cares? You know, if you want to say I have blinders on about SoFlo, then fine. You have blinders on about MRE. It's the same thing. You decide who you want to be friends with. I decide who I want to be friends with. Okay? Um, did SoFlo do a bad thing? Yes, he did. He did a horrible thing. He, did, he also did his time for it. And... You know, whether I agree with what people do or not, there's something to be said. There's a saying that goes, um, pretty much you do the crime, you do the time. But what comes after that is once you've done the time for that, you have the right to somewhat walk around as a free citizen and not have to be belittled for it. Let me see. She has far too much time on her hands. And yes, a few years late with all her being. Basically, MRE threatened a gang R. Casparosa with his friends just this morning while on Angels. Who has the blinders on, Maureen? There you go. I didn't happen to catch that part of the show. Um, you know, I didn't watch it last night and I started watching it today before I did my first show. So I haven't had a chance to watch all 10 hours of it, but is that so Jane Creek? Did he, did he threaten to do that? Yeah, I was watching him and I didn't think so. You know, I mean, seriously, again, all the stuff you're bringing up, Maureen, is old. Bring me something new. Then I might stop laughing at what you're bringing up. Again, like I said, we've all pretty much made our decision as who we're friends with at this point. Um, you know... For two years, all we had was MRE's a snitch, this, that, and the other. And then Casparosa comes up with the restraining order thing. And I'm just going to call it the restraining order because I'm not going to go into, you know, a guy. You know, I listen, as much as I hate MRE, um, he was never even charged, let alone convicted of it, of that. And it's a horrible, heinous thing to be accused of. Um, he was accused of it though. I, you know, he was accused of it, but uh, you know, at least Casparosa brought something new to the table. You know, you're running around, you know, jabbing people that over old two year old bullshit just because you don't like that person. You know, listen. <laughs> I don't like you, but I couldn't care less about what you did in your past or 
whatnot. I don't care, you know, like nobody cares. And quite frankly, Maureen, if you weren't running around doing this, nobody on here would even basically know who you are other than your angel's friend. You know, it's like you're trying to dig up old crap and make a name for yourself. He said that they were going in on his ass with his friends. Not really cryptic. Oh, that's a little harsh. He was salivating when he said it, just dreaming. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat that whole thing, Jane, but that is funny. Um, you know, and I've already proven before the MR, you know, as much as people want to say so flow and muscle, say horrible, degenerate things about women, I've already proven that MRE said just as horrible things, you know, you know what? I did one show on it and I'm done. I don't need to prove it anymore. I'm not running around screaming it, you know? There's no need to at this point. We've all heard it all. MRE went back and forth with multiple people last night for hours at a time, just saying. Yeah, and so have other people, SBK. You know, they, again, that's nothing new. I mean, I've seen FBS get sandbagged by 10 people and one, one right after another, and he came out swinging like a champ. <clears throat> you know? That doesn't excuse people for... Oh, it's not telling me what that is, FBS. Hang on one second. Guys, chill. Hang on for a minute. Let me see here. I'm going to mute for a minute. FBS, that's the link to your earlier show, correct? Is that what you meant to post? That's why I don't care. Everyone, please click this link and tell me what you see. Yeah, go ahead. Um, click FBS's link. I see um, FBS, it took me to your show from earlier today. Yeah, it took me to your show from earlier today. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, I didn't think you got struck. I didn't think you got struck. FBS, let me ask you a question. If somebody handed me something inflammatory about someone and I handed it to you, would you not say what it is on stream? Especially if I sent it to you during stream? Of course you would. And I wouldn't blame you for doing it. This is why I don't blame Suge for what he did. I blame you, Maureen. For being the one to pass along inflammatory information, knowing it was going to be talked about. Just making the point because I heard there's a lot of controversy. Oh, FBS, everything about you is controversial, don't you know? Everything's your fault. Everything in this community is your fault. There are too many people who hate their own lives, actions, whatever it may be, pathetically use YouTube to hurt and expose others for very short-lived fake pat on the back by morons that believe BS. I, 
basically, I just wanted to let you know some of what went on last night. Very late at night as well. I pretty much fell asleep on my keyboard. A 10-hour show. I Hey, listen, I... You know, I went two hours today and I was starting to feel the burn. I don't know how people do those long shows like that. Hey, Mandy, how are you? Yes, FBS, everything. Everything is your fault. Angel shows sucked. She loves sticking up for her Nazi loving son-in-law. Well, listen, um, I don't like MRE either. Um, but there's a solution. If you don't like somebody's show, don't watch, you know, you know, I like this whole point of digging up 200 pages on somebody's, uh, background and reading it on a live internet show and having it posted page one per page a day, um, Y'all got way too much time on your hands. I don't spend that kind of time on people I don't like. I really don't. Um, you know, again, and, and a lot of my friends over here, they know, you know, listen, I don't, I, I, I don't have a problem with Angel. I'm not going to put her down. She doesn't put me down. That's just the way it is. Um, she's got issues with my friends. That's between her and my friends and vice versa. My friends have issues with her. Depending on what they did to you, you might. Um, I, I don't know. I'm kind of wired a little bit differently, FBS. You know, 20 years ago, I would have been all about this crap. I don't know if something happened to me. I'll be honest with you. Something happened to me during that. I call it the dark period because, you know, that whole dark period four years ago. Uh, YouTube doesn't like the certain C word. Um, but something happened to me that I just don't give a shit about people I don't like. I really don't like, you know. 20 years ago, maybe. Um, I will say this. Um, in this particular instance, FBS, no, I don't want people coming at my family, which I very much appreciate. Um, but it's happened in the past where I've had. So I do understand how you're feeling. And you know what? That's not to say I wouldn't go ballistic and do something outrageous or whatever meaning wasting time on stupid people. Um, but I get, I mean, I get it, FBS. You're like, you know, I'm a lot like you. I, you know, I do like to research things and people, just not people on here that I don't care about. <laughs> you know, I'd rather like see what's going on with the P. Diddy case and spend time on that. Or, you know, I've actually... I need to get back to seeing what's still being said about Princess Kate. You know, that kind of stuff. I went out to dinner, came home, passed out in a food coma. Wake up around 3.30 a.m. An angel show was ra rocking and rolling with over 200 people. It was definitely must-see TV, if I don't say so myself. MRE denying everything is not must-see TV. Well, I'll give you that. MRA's going to... Listen, this is why I don't even argue about it anymore. He's not unsealing his files. Personally, I don't... I have my opinion about him. I don't need to see the unsealed files. I know what I think about him based on what I've already seen. You know, if he wants to unseal his files, so be it. Personally, though, you know, if he really wants to portray this whole... Nothing was wrong with my case thing for his own sanity. I think he should do it, but but yeah, back to FBS. You know, I you're right. I mean, 
listen, somebody could do something tomorrow to me that might change my whole perspective on things. But on a general scale, hey, listen, I don't fault you for what you do. You do what you got to do. You do you, boo. Um, you're my friend. And even if I think what you're doing is wrong at times, you have your reasons for doing it. Um, I might say, hey, that's not what I would do. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to stop being someone's friend because they're hurt and they feel they need to do something about it, you know, and maybe it is a guy thing. Um, I, I can sympathize this way. I'll, I'll put it this way. You know, I come from a large family, uh, siblings, and I have this one brother that, he and I didn't always get along. Uh, we we get along now that we're older, but as teenagers, we were bickering back and forth. Horrible, awful stuff. And actually, even into our 20s and 30s, you know, um, even into our 20s and 30s, we didn't really take too kindly to each other. But let me tell you something. We would bicker amongst each other. But if somebody on the outside dare said anything about either one of us, you're going to be told to shut the front door because that's just the way it is. You know, I actually, you know, saw someone going at my brother online and this was many years ago that, you know, many, many years ago. Yeah. I mean, the internet was around, but they were going at my brother and it's very widely known at that time that me and him didn't get along, but I'll tell you what, that person went at my brother and she got a mouthful for me. Good evening, Brooklyn. How are you? But I want to see something here because I just, I got a notification here. Um, Donald commented on my, under my last show from this afternoon um didn't so flow in fbs doc cm remember stone sailor calling his pastor and son remember so flow in fbs showing the world his trailer and making fun of him cm is mad at the wrong people um no donald i've heard cm's uh opinion on this he and FBS, he, he and FBS, he had said some really bad things about FBS's wife prior to being doxxed. He did not blame FBS one bit for coming out with that information. But the person that put that information out there was MRE. Um, and the reason why I say that is because several people had gotten that same email that morning. Um, MRE being the first one to get it, put it out there. Had FBS seen it first, he probably would have put it out there. I, you know, I, I don't doubt that. Um, but FBS, CM has said himself that FBS had more of a reason to dox him than MRE did. You know, I mean, CM actually defended MRE until he saw certain things about MRE. So, Donald, that's your answer. And now I'm going to delete your comment because I think you're just trying to stir trouble. Yes, I do delete comments on my page from trolls. Uh, people that don't, you know, either don't want to use their real name or use just an avatar and want to stir up shit. If you have a serious, yeah, granted, he probably thinks in his little head that was a serious question, but that's the problem. Um, a lot of people hear something and then run their mouth about it, but neglect to go back and hear the other half of the story. Much like Maureen, who liked to spread this huge rumor that CM took my wrench. Well, I still have a wrench in CM's chat. 
And he and I, he didn't take my wrench. No. I do know that you don't like CM and SoFlo and you constantly badger them. I, you know, honestly, I, honestly, Maureen, I'd be pissed at you too. Um, do I think it's okay that your, that your family was brought up? No, I do not. And I said that even before you betrayed me. And I'll say that now. Um, there's certain things that I draw a line at. My friends, they don't draw lines. I can't speak for them. Or they draw different lines. We'll say that. Um, I'm not going to fault my friends for defending themselves, though. Um, again, like I said, it might not be how I handle it, but, you know, if that's what they feel they need to do, that's what they feel they need to do. But that's not what I do. You know, and that's, this goes back to the original troll thing I actually wanted to talk about today. I had trolls coming up to me, you know, I put something on a post about what I would do if I had money to just spend on whatever I wanted to. Um, I put that up about me, about what I would do. Do not come back to me with, well, your friends did this and you're, <laughs> yeah, they're my friends, but they did it. Go to that. And they're perfectly okay with me saying that. MRE is a 45-year-old. <laughs> uh, FBS put that video on private because he knew he messed up saying black people are stupid if they vote for Trump. That is so wrong and racist. I don't know if that's true or not, Donald. Um... That's his opinion. Listen, I, you know, I'm pretty sure FBS would say anybody of any color that votes for Trump is stupid. Now, a lot of you guys like to think FBS is a liberal. He's not. I am. He's not. Um, but I know a lot of conservatives that hate Trump as well. Um, FBS looks at the facts of what Trump did. You know, a lot of people around the country might not understand what Trump was pulling locally for years. You know, that would be like me trying to um, think I know what I'm talking about, a mayor from California or whatnot. Trump did a lot of evil shit that people either forget or don't know about. Um, but FBS, you can't tell people how to vote, especially black people. Well, that could be seen, what you just said right there, Donald, could be seen as racist. Personally, I, I don't care who votes for who, to be honest with you. I don't like to argue about politics with friends because, you know what, the president is for four years. Friends, if you maintain a, a good friendship, can last forever. Um, I don't like ruining friendships over four years. That is racist. You can't tell. Well, you can't tell white people how to vote either. You can't tell anyone how to vote. There we go. Donald, yeah. Go ask FBS. Don't talk to me about it. Psychiatrists can really help people, Maureen. YouTube is not the place when you're not mentally sick. I, I don't listen, I don't know about her mental state. Um so I'm not going to comment on that. Um, I take mental health very seriously. I do suffer from depression and anxiety. Um, however, I have managed to 
live with it and learn how to deal with it and not let it affect me. Um, and it does affect me sometimes, but those are the days I just stay off YouTube. Um, or I'll just listen and not comment, you know. You know, there's days that, yeah, I'll go in and be like, hi, everybody. And that's it. And I won't comment. Um, what time is it here? Okay, it's 9.43. We have a few more minutes. I think FBS is coming on at 10. So I'll hang around for a few more minutes. I just wanted to get this out there that um, Maureen putting up very, very old links that everybody's already seen uh, um, that are not from credible news media outlets. Um, you know, the word, a WordPress blog and the Florida Daily Sun are not news, are they're local, you know, WordPress is an is a blog. It's not even a newspaper. Um, the the Florida Sun, um, again, like I said, it's one of those local little local papers in that area. You know, again, like I said years ago, you could pretty much write up your own story, and if you pay them to run it, they will. All right, they're not. You know, it's not the AP Wire. It's not Breitbart. It's not UK Daily Mail, which UK Daily Mail, I'm, only, I'm not even, you know, too sure about. Um, I would take TMZ over a freaking blog. Vote Biden again and we will have. Oh, oh, so. Your prejudice against transgenders and aliens. Okay. That explains it. Um, personally, I don't care what sex the military is. As long as they do their job, I don't care if they're male, female, both, or both. I really don't. You know, they're sex, you know, people that sign up for the military. Um, it's in their heart to do what's best for the country. You know, they're willing to take bullets when you won't. Um, they're willing to stand up for people like you to say that shit, Julie. That's what you don't understand. And now you can be gone. I will not have any of that talk in my chat room. Whether it's good or yeah, yeah, I'm hitting all sorts of wrong buttons here. Um, let me see. Yeah, you you can go bye bye, Joy. You're done. Well, listen, D. Ganey, you're getting a pass only because I just, I'm not going to preach to you who to vote for. Um, but so, sounds like Maureen should take up golf because she's too invested in this YouTube BS. You would have what, FBS? What would you have done, FBS? Yeah, you, you can't tell black people who to vote for. It's a free country. Well, Julie, you can't tell others what to say either then. You know, you can't use the First Amendment in a one-sided direction.
Jesse, I think you deleted my wrench when you hit the wrong button. Michael, I, don't, I didn't think you even had a wrench in here, to be honest with you. It's possible I did. I'll deal with it later. Now, there's something to talk about. Can you imagine a lasagna beating up a pizza? There you go. There's something to talk about. Well, yeah, no, you can't, you can't tell people who to vote for, but you also can't tell people what opinion to have either, which is what she was trying to do. Tony Pizza really thinks he was a Gambino enforcer. Listen, as long as he's not hurting anybody, let him tell us stories. I agree with her. You can't, yeah. You can't tell a race who to vote for. You can't tell anyone who to vote for. Um, but it, if someone has an, an opinion on something, you can't tell them not to have that opinion either. Listen, as much as I hate MRE, it's not illegal for him to feel the way he feels. It's wrong, immoral, and evil, yes. But it's not illegal. Shut up, Donald and Julie. I put it on private because I made it zero dollars. See, there you go. Go to go to FBS. Talk to him. You know. If you guys have a problem with me, you come to me. You got a problem with FBS, you go to FBS. All right, FBS, when the ignorant was saying FBS got struck, he was fighting eating a lasagna. Only thing pizza was enforcing was those cack up his um, Park Ave when he was tricking. <laughs> Probably. Probably. I don't, you know, I listen, hey, to each their own. Um, Okay, all his teeth are either rotten or removed. So I would say he has a drug addict all his life. Who, pizza? Yeah. I feel a little silly, but I don't know what the Dunning-Kruger effect is. Is that where... If someone suggests it, people believe it. You're thinking of Biden. I never told anyone how to vote. Yeah, I didn't think you were telling anyone how to vote. I just thought you were putting out your opinion. See, a lot of this stuff on YouTube is interpretation. And people look way too deep into things. FBS says he doesn't understand why somebody would vote for someone. And it turns into FBS is telling people how to vote. No, he's just saying he doesn't understand. Like, it's his opinion. He's more than welcome to feel that way.
watching pizza eat is disgusting. Yeah, I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. Well, that's good for you, Thornblades Lash. But, you know, we're, we're not... I, I'm going to delete the comment only because the, this isn't going to turn into a political debate here. Um, anyway, guys, FBS is going to be on in just a few short moments, um, probably about seven minutes. Um, I'm going to go refill my water bottles, <laughs> bottles, multiple, um, and get ready to sit down and listen to his show. Um, again, thank you all for coming to my show. Please try to be kind to each other. Um, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next chat room. Bye, guys.